let's see how we can work on this for example example 12 percent half yearly what is ERR effective ERR so it's going to be R is going to be 0 0.12 N is going to be 2 so it's going to be 1 plus R by N raised to N minus 1 so what will that turn out to be 1.12 divided by 2 so 1.06 into minus 1 into this into 100 it turns out to be around 12.36 percent so the nominal rate was 12 percent and the effective rate if you compound it half yearly is 12.36 the same thing, what is a compounded monthly is ERR. In this case, R is definitely 0 0.12, but N will turn out to be 12. So it's eventually 1 plus 0 0.12 by 12, which will turn out to be 1 0 0 0 1 0.012. <coughs> So it's going to be, so it will turn out to be raised to, raised to n, that is 12 minus 1 into 100. So it's going to be 1.012 into 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12 minus 1. It works out to roughly this one works out around 15.38 percent so the net effective since compounding is done every month the net effective rate is going to be quite different from 12 percent you see that as the period become of compounding becomes smaller and smaller the effective rate of return goes on increasing so we get 15.38 percent in such a case right Further, let's take more examples. Okay. The effective rate of interest corresponding to a nominal rate of 3% per annum payable half yearly is what? So we have uh, R is 3%. So in that case, 0 0.03. So R by N will turn out to be 0 0.015. And N obviously is half yearly, 2. So it's going to be 1 plus R by N, the whole raised to N minus 1 into 100, which turns out to be 1.015 raised to 2 minus 1 into 100. So let's see what we have here, 1.015. So it's 1 into, so we get roughly 3.0. 0.225 percent per annum that is a three percent cap per annum when you convert it to half yearly is equivalent to 3.0225 percent per annum that is option number c yes that's right furthermore the effective rate of interest corresponding to a nominal rate of seven percent per annum convertible quarterly so we have R is 7%, that is 0 0.07, N is 4, so it's going to be 1 plus 0 0.07 by 4 raised to N, that is 4 minus 1 into 100. So we have 4. turns out to be 7.185 percent that is 7.19 percent so among these this seems to be the closest that is option number b 7.18 percent 
The same thing if you had converted to monthly, it would become much more than this. The annual rate of return would become more. Okay. And the effective rate equivalent to nominal rate of 6% compounded monthly. So we have R is 0 0.06. So and N is 12. So it is 1 plus R by N raised to N minus 1 into 100. So that turns out to be 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 12 raised to 12 minus 1 into 100. So this turns out to be 12 which turns out to be roughly 6.167% so, which is 6.16. So, it's 6.16. See the difference? There is 6%. Of course, just a reminder, why does this happen? Although the rate of interest is the same, when you reduce it, when you do the compounding more often, tiny amount of interests are being added more often and the interest is calculated on those interests too, which eventually on an annual basis bring about a conspicuous change in the net rate of return. Hence, we have 6.16 as the right answer, okay.